Hi, my name is Steve Acciani. I'm director of instrumental music at Diamond Bar High School. Um, I've spent my entire teaching career um, teaching in the Walnut Valley School District. I started out at, at South Point Middle School where I taught for 18 years. Last 14 years, I've been up at Diamond Bar High School. Um, I've also been involved coaching football, basketball, baseball, track, helping with robotics, uh, pretty much anything that I could do in the district I've, uh, I've had the fortune of doing. The Walnut Valley School District uh, from day one has had a commitment to providing great opportunities for all kids and that has, has definitely benefited the performing arts. They look for developing well-rounded students and they know that that artistic side is critical uh, to kids being able to express themselves. They've allowed um, no matter what's been going on um, financially, um, um, in any things like that in the district, they've always understood that it's about the enrichment of the human spirit. So they've provided maybe the most well-rounded uh, performing arts uh, program um, anywhere in Southern California. And what they're able to do for the kids and allow us to do with the kids um, is just unprecedented. I think one of the great things about being in this community is I think I get more from the students in the community than I'm, than I'm even able to give. I, I can remember an, a, a, a particular student that, that was a life-changing experience getting to know her. Um, a few years back we had a student that moved in from New York her sophomore year. Her name was Miso Kwok and very talented, incredibly nice kid, um, completely blind. And she came in and we sat down that very first day and she let me know what she needed. She said, this is the kind of person that I wanna be. These are the things that I wanna do. Can you help me with this? And she taught me um, to see beyond limitations, to see what was possible. So Miso wanted to do marching band. So she said, help us figure out a way to do this. So we worked through that and figured out how she could do the marching band. The next year she said, I wanna march in the Rose Parade. So we, we found a way through the help of our, uh, the district and our site administration where we could get, get her assistance. And she was able to be in one of the Rose Parade honor bands and do that. Um, and she was able to do fantastic things as a player. And it was always about not what was gonna limit her, but how we could provide to let her be the best she could be. And she guided us to those things. It was, it was really special. Uh, she just recently graduated from Harvard and is, is uh, somebody that truly had a profound impact on us. And there's hundreds of stories like that. Uh, Miso's just one that, that we'll probably never forget. Some of the lessons that I like took away from high school, um, my high school experience from Diamond Bar High School is like the importance of um, teamwork and um, also uh, like working through different challenges. And um, I think being a part of um, band uh, really taught me like what it means to uh, be thinking about others and um, think working towards like a goal with other people, um, not just by myself. And I think that's something um, that. Uh, can be really beneficial in many, many different settings um, as an adult, um, adult in, working in different uh, settings. Um, and also uh, just have this kind of atmosphere of like trying to do better um, and being with peers who are like, everyone is so uh, passionate and brilliant. And so I think uh, sometimes being in that environment like felt like it was stressful, but also uh, realizing that, that everyone is just doing their best and so um, being encouraged to also work hard I think that was really helpful and um, to this day I can um, like attribute uh, some of my work ethic from my uh, the ha habits that I was able to cultivate from high school.